it, Olivier. And here we are going to do, we are going to make pom pom puppies with this book. And I really, and I really recommend this book because it's so cute, and you can make four pom pom puppies, and it's really cute. So let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to need your pom pom maker, and you're going to put the two flat sides together, and you are going to just wrap the yarn around it. So, like that, and keep wrapping it around, keep wrapping it around, until you reach this side, and then when you get that side, go back to that, then when you reach that, go back, and then tuck it in. Or just, so you should just follow the, if you need the book, so yeah. Um, well, yeah, if you have the book, just follow the directions on the book. And so, yeah, okay, I'm going to put it on Tyler. Okay guys, I got the pom pom maker all wrapped and now we just need to snap it together. Uh, and if you're following the instruction book, you should wrap it around like that. And now you will cut it. I know the book says like to do small scissors, but these are small scissors, I guess. But yeah, uh, actually, here, hold on just a minute. Let's just open them with a hey, opening scissors with scissors. I already opened my scissors. Wait, how did you do that without scissors? Um, here's what I, I did oh, that. Oh, you did I just that. that. There we go. Ooh, these are nice. So sharp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're really yeah. easy to move, too. I can't believe she actually got like um, two or three of them each. Wait, what? Olivia, Gra Gra not Granny, not Olivia. Mommy got two or three each. Wow. Okay, Johanna, just, yeah, you be quiet, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, they may be a little too big, but still. Here. Oops. Oopsie. Okay, um, yeah, the little pom-pom maker just got apart, but it's okay. Yeah. I'll try it. Really, really, really I think dry. this, I think the good guy so actually tells the truth, because this And now we can just take these off. Like, boop. Or you can slide off. Boop. And then there's your pom pom. And it's fun because you can keep them like this and put them on a keychain or something, too. So, yeah. That's really fun. E so, this is like the actual size. I make cotton puff a lot. Bigger. Oh yeah, her name is Cotton Puff because. Okay, now let's make our next one. So I'm just gonna make it the same colors and everything. So yeah, okay. I'll get back to you when I make my second album. We got we got our second pom pom, and now it is time to create the puppy. And 
end. First, we are going to like trim the pom poms and to make it look like this size. And then we will give it the fluff. So, I will go get my. Actually, I'm just gonna do it now. So, I'm gonna take this, the scissors. And I'm just gonna move this book out of the way, yeah. And all these puppies out of the way, except the little hug. Because I'm going to. Oh, example off of it. So, yeah, let's get this started. Maybe I only have to do. Actually, these scissors work out fine. Okay, I'm going to do it on time lapse. Okay, guys, so I kind of messed up on this one. Uh, I accidentally cut the fur too far short and I'm so I'm gonna have to make another one so I'm gonna do that now okay I got this other pom-pom slightly smaller than this one but anyway um I am going to trim it now to like this size um, and hopefully I will, won't mess up so I'll get back to you once I've been do, did that. Hey guys, I just read the direction for the Pomeranian. I'm actually get, supposed to get a tuft of the hair. Tuft like that. And I'm going to trim around all the edges. Like everything except that one tuft. So I'm getting. So well, I've trimmed everything um, except that one tuft. And then the directions say next to. Let's see, it says, um, with the tuft still tied, well, I was supposed to tie it, um, I'll do that in a second. With the tuft still tied, pinch a small section of the untied yarn as close to the center as the ball you can. Pinching the yarn keeps from being get fluffy. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just supposed to fluff all that up. So, yeah, so I'm supposed to, here, let me go get a comb. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Okay, I got a brush, um, and I found this nail polish. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to, oh yeah, I guess I'll just try it around here. Actually, no, I'm just going to fluff out all this, and I'll get back to you. Bye. Okay, guys, we got it all combed, and this is what it was going to look like. But yeah, we're making a Pomeranian. So, anyway, um, so I got it combed, and you can see a little bit of a difference. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's a little bit of a difference. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and now the directions say to... Uh, now take this off and divide the tuft in half like this and then brush these, comb these till they're fluffy. So yeah. <laughs> it kind of takes a long time to get it all fluffy. But yeah, I'll get back to you when it's all fluffy. I got this all combed and it's really soft and this so Cotton Puff is a, supposed to be a Pomeranian, but I didn't comb her far enough. Um, so yeah, and so this is what it's supposed to look like. Or that's what it's supposed to look like. But that's a professional doing it, so don't be disappointed if it doesn't look like that. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. Now we have to add the pom pom for the muzzle, uh, but I haven't gotten my hot glue gun um, heated up yet so I'll get back to you when it's all heated up okay so my hot glue gun is all heated up and it's time to glue on the pom-pom so I'm just gonna get the pom-pom right here Oop. and just glue it on right there so yeah I'm going to 
going to glue this nose on. this. I am going to add my tongue. He's so cute. Okay. But first I'm going to go get the eyes. Okay. I got the eyes. I actually ran out of so I'm just using some beads that we bought at Michael's <laughs> so yeah uh, let's see I'm there's extra glue on here so I'm just gonna peel that off here, I'll get back to you when the eyes are glued on okay I got the eyes glued on and now I'm going to add the tongue then I'm going to add the ears so I'm gonna add the tongue right now I'm just gonna Put a dab of glue right there. And dot. No, I'm just gonna go like that. And there's a little tongue, so cute. Well, it might not be cute for you guys, but. pattern to cut out the ears so I'm gonna go like that. I got both of the ears done and now I'm gonna glue them on and we still need to do the body too so <laughs> yeah okay uh yeah the ears and I, the directions say to like cut the fur by the cheeks like a triangle, or you can leave them fluffy, but I don't really want to leave them fluffy, so I'm just going to trim it. Just like that. And I'm going to do it to this side too. And there. Now it's a little bit more. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the body. Yay! Okay, I'll meet you at the body station, I guess. Okay, we are at the body making station and we are going to make the body. So get your second pom pom. And. Oh, here's the head. So get your second pom pom and you are going to divide it in half. Just like find the halfway mark. Like, or a halfway mark. I like finding. Oh, there it is. The yarn that I tied it together with. So I'm just going to break all the yarn up like that, like that, and then trim everything, like trim only one side, only trim one side. So yeah, so trim one side. 
side. So, I left my fancy scissors down there. So, I'll get back to you when I trim to one side. I trimmed all of one side, and what the directions say to do next is to divide the long side into three equal sections. So, three equal sections. And then trim the middle one. Now, you divide, you put it to the side. Here, let me look at the direction. Here, I actually don't have, I almost have it memorized. Ah! Let's see. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Um. Okay, so as I was saying, so you would... You'll turn it on its side and split this into three equal sections and trim the middle one. Let's do it. Yay. And trim it. Oh. And now here are your two legs and do the exact same thing to the other side. And there is your body, your three legs, or four, four legs, not three legs. Okay. Your four legs, yay! And what you're gonna do is like you're gonna glue it like that. It's like, or you can glue it like that to make it nap, or you can glue it like that to make it beg. Oh, so cute. And now what we're going to do is we're going to comb out the entire body so it's fluffy. So I'll get back to you after I've combed it. Guys, I got the body all brushed out. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now we are going to put the head and body together. But I just don't know what expro <laughs> expression thingy. Or not expression. Um, what's it called? Uh, like trick thingy. Yeah, I'll just say expression. Um, expression I want it to do. Because there is the, this, the book says dog tricks. And I did that one once for her. And I don't know if I just wanted to sit up or I did beg that one. And then accessorize. Um, whoa. I don't really want to do that one though. So, hmm, let's see which one looks best. Let's see. So, regular. Laying down. Or side. I don't want to do that one. Um, or bag. Hmm. I think... I think I'm just gonna glue it on regular. Because it's a video. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get um, the paper thingies that... As I was saying, I'm going to do it... Um, I am think I'm going to do it in the regular pose, um, because it's a regular puppy. Yeah. So, I'm just going to go get the thing that you use, or the little paper circle that you need to glue the head onto the body. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the little circle, and now I'm going to go get my hot glue gun. I know what you're thinking, like, Olivia, wait, you need to have your hot glue plugged in. But it's really hot, so I'm just going to... Big lobby right there. Glue this on. Hot. That's hot. I can feel the heat through the paper. There. 
And now I'm gonna go around like that. I'm gonna place the head on there. Like that. And then your pomo puppy is pretty much done. Unless you want to accessorize. So like with bows and stuff. Um or you could just like adjust the feet and stuff. Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna trim the feet a little bit. Trim the feet. A little bit too short. Ouch. Trim everything. There. Now the paws are a little bit smaller. There we go, and that's our finished puppy, pretty much. But, as I was saying, I was going to add bows, but I don't know if there are any more left. Um, yeah, I don't think there are any more left. So I'm just going to go get a collar so I can put it on. I actually cannot find a collar, but I did find this one, but I'm going to put this one on my pug. But I do have this crown I will put on her. So I'm just gonna go down here. And I'm going to glue it on. Hi guys, I'm, who knows? Leave her name below in the comments, down there. Down there. Except if you're on YouTube Kids. <laughs> oh yes, and also my pug. He doesn't have a name. So... Leave his name below in the, down below in the comments too. But you better rush before I name him. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just gonna... Put a strip of glue... Right there. Oof. And just. Oh, ah! Okay, yeah. Well, then, uh, if I don't call you. If I don't call you. Ah. And just place it on there. Yep. I'm doing it closer to the eyes because it looks cuter. Oh my goodness, she's so cute! She's so cute! I'm so cute! And I'm gonna go with my pug. And I'm going to put the cop. Hey guys, sorry. I ran out of storage on my camera. So, um, and we couldn't download the pictures on the computer just yet. So, um, I just, I'm adding my voice in now. Um, so as I was saying, I was going to go get the collar on my pug. But I can't film him, or I can't film me putting the collar on him because I ran out of storage. So here is a picture. What a cutie! So th this is what I made with the extra yarn straps. Yeah, I so filled. I um made two pillows for the puppies. And that's something that you can do with your yarn scraps too.